Hi friends, today I am going to review the book Change Your Attitude Creating Success One Thought at a Time by David McPherson and Tom Bay. The WRONG Attitude Any thinking process that causes you to act in ways that hurt you or isolate you from others is an example of a wrong attitude. If you want to change your life, you have to identify the attitudes that you need to change. The acronym WRONG highlights five characteristics of destructive attitudes. 1. Worrying about things beyond your control, don't be a god wannabe, you are not in control of the universe. 1. Learn the difference between the things you can control, your life, and the things that are uncontrollable, the weather. 1. Unnecessary worrying can make you too weary to handle the things you can control. 2. Rushing to judgment, don't jump to conclusions before you have a chance to hear both sides of the story. 3. Overreacting, people with short fuses are always demanding revenge for real and imagined slights. 3. They are most likely to follow through on murder threats. 3. Stay away from overreactors whenever possible. 4. Neglecting areas of control, neglectors are adult children. 4. They pawn off their responsibilities on friends, family and even employers. 4. They ignore major parts of their life only to obsess on one particular area. 4. Obsessions of neglectors can be anything from the internet, to drinking or shopping. 5. Giving up too soon, when you give up you are essentially dead, just not buried. 5. Giving up leaves you feeling empty and powerless. 5. What little energy you have is spent spreading negative thoughts to others. Attitude is the way you respond to life each day, all day. If you recognize some of these wrong attitudes in yourself, take heart in the fact that you can change. Activating the right attitudes is just as easy as activating the wrong ones. The RIGHT Attitude The acronym RIGHT highlights common characteristics of the right attitudes. We'll look at each of these in a bit more detail. 1. Reality, risk-taking and responsibility, the right attitude means you have a grip on reality. 2. You must decide if an issue falls into your circle of concern, something you can only worry about, or into your circle of influence, something you can control. 3. People who have the right attitude change what they can and don't worry about the things they can't control. Relishing reality means delighting in your reality, in your unique world that no one else shares. People with the right attitudes also are willing to take risks. Thomas Edison had the right attitude. He conducted over 10,000 experiments while trying to create rubber from the golden rod plant. Halfway through the process a reporter asked Edison if he had made 5,000 mistakes. No, no, corrected Edison, we have successfully discovered 5,000 ways it does not work. Remember that next time you chastise yourself for making a mistake. You must take risks to be successful. You may have the wrong attitude if your random acts of kindness are all tax deductible. Taking personal responsibility is another basic characteristic of people with the right attitudes. They realize that it's not what happens to you that determines your success or failure, it's how you respond to it. 1. Imagination, Innovation and Integrity A prime example of the usefulness of imagination is the virtual reality industry. 2. Pilots use flight simulators to practice flying. 3. The virtual reality environment allows people to make mistakes without drastic consequences. 4. The human nervous system cannot differentiate between something experienced and something vividly imagined. 5. Essentially, virtual reality is imagination. 5. Use your imagination to visualize success in your life. Thinking is a wonderfully productive way to spend time. So often we avoid serious thinking because zoning out in front of TV sitcoms is easier, or doing the wash is more urgent. People who innovate have the right attitudes. Innovations are the way to keep up with the changing world. You may have the wrong attitude if you're up to your neck in concrete and your co-workers go get more. 1. Goals People without goals are spectators in the arena of life, cheering for the people who participate. 2. Choosing goals is easy, but people with the right attitude follow through on their goals. 3. Habits Health and humor Taking care of your health and developing a sense of humor are two life-affirming habits. 4. 
exercise increases blood flow to the brain, which improves mental performance. 5. According to Dr. Larry Gibbons, every hour you spend exercising will extend your life by two hours. 6. A low-fat diet can reduce your risk of heart disease, cancer, stroke, diabetes and gastrointestinal diseases. The key factor in managing our lives is time, and for most of us, there is never enough of it. To develop a sense of humor start every day with a laugh. Surround yourself with friends that have a sense of humor. More time spent with other people increases your chances of breaking into laughter. 1. Time, thinking and trusting, when Kirby Puckett, the center fielder for the Minnesota Twins, was forced to retire due to an eye injury, he said, don't take it for granted. 2. Tomorrow is not promised to any of us, so enjoy yourself. 3. Learn to appreciate every second of every 86,400 seconds day, because your tomorrows are just as tenuous as puckets. Make time today and every day to exercise your brain. People with the right attitude always set aside time to think and expand their knowledge. It is easy to put off taking time to reflect to do something more urgent, but you will be cheating yourself. Trust is another basic characteristic of people with the right attitude. If you trust yourself you are able to set goals and follow your instincts. Trust helps develop good relationships with others. The right attitude in 8 easy steps. The process of changing your attitudes is actually quite simple. Most of the steps are common sense, but they are not common practice. To make these steps work, it is important to be committed enough to follow through on them. Complete these steps and you will develop new attitudes and enrich your life. 1. Choose attitudes you want to develop. 2. Write them down. 3. You may want to be more affectionate with your family, or less critical. 4. Regardless of which attitudes you choose, nothing will happen until you mix attitude with action. 1. Set goals. 1. Setting goals is no different than consulting a map before going on a long drive. 2. To determine the route you will take you look at where you are starting from and where you want to go. 3. Decide on a specific attitude as a destination, or goal. 1. Create and maintain a journal. 1. Journals help reinforce your determination to change. 2. Make notes about where you have been and where you are going. 2. In the future, when you are working on a different aspect of your attitudes, you can look back to previous journal entries to help you avoid making the same mistakes. 3. Your first entry in your journal should describe your goal, the reasons that you want to change, and the methods you will use to change. 3. In the following days write down any examples of how you demonstrated your new attitude. 4. When you mention any problems you are having, be sure to also include some success stories. 1. Visualize. 1. Growth is stimulated by visual images. 2. This fact makes visualizing essential when trying to change your attitude. 3. Choose a quiet time to relax and imagine yourself demonstrating your new attitude. 4. Do this three times daily. 4. As soon as you wake up and just before you fall asleep are excellent times to visualize. 5. Schedule time for visualizing once more during the day. 6. Start by breathing deeply, then take a deep breath, hold it for 5 seconds, and slowly release it for a count of 5. 7. Repeat this 5 times. 8. Now relax the muscles in your body, starting with your feet and moving upwards. 9. Once you are completely relaxed, visualize yourself demonstrating your new attitude. 1. Make time. 1. Be prepared to spend a minimum of 21 days working to change a specific attitude characteristic. 2. Working on your attitudes is like working on a garden. 3. Weeds will spring up in your garden every year without fail. 4. If you don't pull the weeds, next year they will multiply and crowd out all of your desirable plants. 5. By removing weeds you give plants that you want a chance to survive. 6. If you regularly remove the wrong attitudes from your mind, you give the right attitudes the opportunity to flourish. 1. Self-talk. 1. Learn to compliment yourself. 1. Everybody has built-in negative self-talk tapes that need to be destroyed. 2. 
One way to demolish these negative tapes is to think about how you would react if someone else said to you what you are saying to yourself. 2. Another method is to argue with yourself. 3. Stop accepting negative statements as facts. 4. Use the same passion to defend yourself that you would use to defend your best friend. 5. Finally, try not to take failure or rejection personally. 6. If an associate fails to say hello to you, is it because she hates you, or because her pager was distracting her? 7. Focus on the least negative cause instead of the most negative possibility. 1. Affirm. 1. Post your attitude affirmations on your bathroom mirror so you can face your right attitude each morning and each evening. 1. Affirmations, I am healthy, I am successful, help keep your mind on track. 2. The amazing thing about affirmations is the way your unconscious believes what you tell it and will work to make it a reality. 3. You do not even have to believe the affirmation, you only have to really want it to come true. You may have the wrong attitude if you can stand still and change a light bulb because the world revolves around you. Act. If you act like the person you want to be, you will become that person. It may seem difficult at first to act as if, but the more often you do it the more practice you get and the better you become. Don't wait for motivation to get started, fake it until you make it. If you act first, motivation will naturally follow. Takeaways 1. People with the right attitudes have a grip on reality, are willing to take risks and feel a sense of personal responsibility. 2. Imagination, innovation and integrity are characteristics shared by people with the right attitude. 3. Characteristics of people with the wrong attitudes include worrying, rushing to judgment, overreacting, neglecting and giving up too soon. 4. Decide which attitudes you want to change and act on your thoughts. 5. If you don't have goals you are a spectator in the arena of life. 6. Make a habit of working on your good health and developing your sense of humor. 7. Time is precious, make the most of every second of every day. 8. A regularly maintained journal can be very motivating and help you change your attitudes. 9. Turn off the negative self-talk tapes that constantly play in your head. 9. Replace those thoughts with positive affirmations. 10. Act as though your attitude has already changed. 10. If you fake your positive attitude long enough, it will become the real you. 11. Did you know that around 70% of our viewers haven't subscribed to our channel yet? If you're one of them, why not consider hitting that subscribe button? It's a great way to stay up to date with our latest videos and support our channel at the same time. 11. Join the majority of our community and subscribe today. Thanks for watching.